Hi, I'm Callie, this is Chad, and we had a lightning strike west of Pagosa Springs that the Forest Service decided to use as a chance to have a controlled burn. They burned just shy of 400 acres, so the trails are open. Let's ride through and see what it's like. that struck me is how you can still smell the smoky burnt fire smell. You can't smell it unless until you actually enter the area so you can't smell it from town. You'd have no idea that this happened at this point but it still has that charred odor and you can see that because it was a controlled burn the conditions were right it wasn't something that just decimated everything. The goal is to burn the underbrush and the scrub oak and the things that burn really hot and cause the most devastation and to leave the pines. So it seems as though the ponderosas are still alive and they're doing fine. was out here for quite a while monitoring the fire even after it had died down and was considered fully contained um, and this fire is actually no longer even like a registered incident anymore um, so they were able to get it burned and out and the trails open um, within a week it was a fast burn and so you can see how on this side there's more burn, more char, and on this side, there's green grass. And I really appreciate how the Forest Service, the guys stayed out here for a long time watching it and monitoring it for any hot spots and um, we have been very very blessed with rain this year and even after a lot of downpours it surprises me that you can still smell the charred smoke smell oh there's a squirrel that's cool to see. See, this fire, when they do a controlled burn like this, there's not the devastation and there's not the just total destruction that can happen whenever things are just, you know, it's an out of control wildfire. Um, the fact that there's already squirrels and things running around in here is awesome. So this is interesting. This is the, a cool perspective here. We've got the burn to this side. And then you've got total pristine forest on this side. So this, was, this trail was used as the line. But you can still see it didn't even get hot enough to kill the wildflowers. They're still blooming and looking beautiful. The grass on this side is happy. And then you've got the fire. And they even kept it in check enough where you've got the wildflowers on this side in bloom. If you watched 
one of our vlogs um, showing Chris Mountain. This is another side of that trail system. We didn't go to this side of the trail in that vlog. And so we were kind of bummed because we were really concerned that this was going to be an out of control fire whenever it first started. And um, because we hadn't ridden it yet this season when this happened. But whenever the lightning strike started this fire, uh, they were able to get it contained really easily. And the conditions were right, and they had the funding, and they had all of the infrastructure in place to be able to do a controlled burn. So they went ahead and, you know, struck while the fire was hot, so to speak. And we are just about out of it. Whenever we see a smoke plume and we get the notification that there's a fire, we kind of freak out a little bit because smoky summers are not uncommon and they can be pretty, pretty miserable at times. So the Forest Service, they assured us this was not going to be a long burn. It was not going to be something that they extended throughout the summer and they were right. It was, it was quick. also see here is where they went through and they masticated and they cut to create the fire line. This trail was the fire line so over here is just pristine, lush. This was the edge of the burn. goals for the summer was to get on this bigger dirt bike and he's already on it. He was on it pretty quick at the beginning of summer so he's on a pretty sweet little bike today. But it's just kind of cool to see. It's interesting to see the comparison from this side of the road that's got the burn and this side of the road the fire came through and it burnt and it burnt the leaves but some of those oaks still have green leaves they just are going to hang on since they're tough and so for us we had we had a decently hard time finding homeowners insurance in 
the mountains because we are in an area that's so prone to forest fires. We had to mitigate, um, we had to cut down tons of scrub, we have to keep everything we needed, we had to send a lot of pictures into the insurance company for them to see, um, for us to have proof that we had done what we said we were going to do to mitigate, and then um, we actually even, our, insur our homeowner's insurance company had to use a special underwriter for our policy. And that's not an uncommon thing because we don't live within city limits. And here's where the Forest Service had posted up. This was their kind of spot. Oh, sorry about that. This was their spot where they had everything, their little command center. And they are now gone. So it's totally out, totally under control. And that's it. That's our adventure through a controlled burn site outside of Pagosa Springs. I hope you thought it was interesting. I thought it was kind of cool the first time we drove through. Thanks for watching. Bye.